Hey guys, hello and welcome to Spud Life with me, your host, Tay Tim. Okay, so without further ado, let's crack on with this week's episode. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Spud Life here in the Caravan of Love and I've got the one and only a croc wearing, which he's actually forgot his crocs, can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> the award I was in a rush. <laughs> non croc wearing, <laughs> caravan loving, metalhead, and little picker, Mr. Tony Pears. How you doing, buddy? All right, good to meet you, Tim. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming, man. Yeah, yeah, no worries. So, thanks for asking. You're very welcome. So, you are a bit of a sort of legend in the town. Oh. Little picking endeavours <laughs> that you've well, put together. You just sort of did it off your own back. So, what made you get up one day and think, you know what? I'm just going to start oh. picking the litter in town. It's been going on a while. It was somewhere around about, I'm going to say, 10, 8 to 10 years ago. Yeah. Uh, I went with my dog and I'd set off around the park. Oh, I didn't think I, you'd been doing it that yeah, long. Yeah, honestly, it's, it's, it's a while now. And then I, I, I ended up, you know, I will play as I. And uh, so, yeah, and I, I saw bits and bobs and I would end up sort of, Say if there was a carrier bag there, I would pick it up yeah, and yeah. put it in and yeah. do it with my bare hands. And then, <laughs> oh, God, then I would sort of... I, I bet you put some things down. Oh, it. no, it was like, you know, <laughs> the, the dogs after chips and bloody half-eaten burgers. And and then, so this progressed. And then eventually, I sort of got a litter picker from work. Yeah. and Because it's part of our routine at work, so yeah. I, I got some from there. So then I would walk the dog, find out where the bad bits were, yeah. go yeah. home, drop him off, and I'd go back. Yeah, yeah. And then once I'd done the park, I would maybe sort of think, oh, I'll, I'll go down this road, yeah, I'll yeah. go down yeah. here, I'll go. Yeah. And then I ended up sort of just... And then somewhere along the line, somebody mentioned that these, uh, me friends at the Wombles, which yeah. was already up and running. Yeah, well, I've done a bit of Facebook stalking on you, like yeah, yeah. Like I do with all my guests. If ever you're going to be a guest on here, yeah. prepare to be stalked. But... um. And I saw the, the Wombly and Free thing, mm. and I thought, what a fabulous name. I mean, that's going to be lost on a whole generation. Of well, that is a bit, yeah. It? But I thought, but it's not yours, though, is it? I thought, no, God, baby. no. I thought, what a nice... No, there was but, uh, the friend of mine, that, well, I'd, I'd befriended her. Yeah. Uh, Nikki Brabant, she actually lived down there, mm. and uh, she saw this group. Right. And uh, she moved up here. Yeah. And uh, asked if she could borrow the wombling free bit yeah, and yeah. just made it Eden. Yeah. Because uh, it was, I think it was Devon or Cornwall where she was. Because and it's uh, a national thing now, then. I'm not, I'm not sure, it? to be honest. I no. don't know if there's like a. But when she, when she lived in, I'm going to say Cornwall, when yeah. she was in Cornwall, it was like wombling free Cornwall. Right, yeah. So she come up here and it was wombling free. Uh, she's an Appleby lassie now, so wombling free Eden. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so, yeah, I, I, I met up with these. The mostly ladies, uh, and we, we go litter picking, and I met them, and a lovely bunch of very, very committed. Yeah. Sort of put me to shame, really. Uh, <laughs> but there's folk from all over the, you know, there's like, there's Greystalk and uh, Lazenby, and, you know, folk yeah. from. All little offshoots and little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then now and again, we meet up and do group picks and yeah, yeah. sort of, you know, try yeah. and get everybody on board. And it's so difficult, though, you know, with folks yeah, trying to get everybody yeah, to. Yeah, I can imagine. But I can imagine as well, a lot, a lot of the ladies you were just talking about, they'll probably be retired, are they? Yes, they're of a certain age, I would think, most of them. Yeah. And uh, again, it's like, sometimes it's midweek, sometimes it's weekends, you know, sometimes it's maybe um, school holidays. Yeah, it's, yeah. But with me on shift work, it doesn't matter. Sometimes I can make them, sometimes I just so, can't. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's so difficult sometimes. But I've been to ones that have been organised by another Womble, but I've also sort of done my own and tried to get folk and... It's quite tough, but I, I, like I say, the work's been quite good. They, they give us the equipment to, to yeah. use, it and they're quite good that way. So. Yeah, because I noticed when I seen you the other day, you had, like, your Kia uh, uh, yeah. on the back of the... And then we got them sort of printed ideas. up with a, with a uh, with names yeah, and mumbles yeah. and this, yeah. that, and the other one. Yeah. So, uh, so Which is good, because, I mean, if people are looking, going past in a car... You know, they, they realise you're not on probation. Yeah, yeah, I know. It, it, it's, <laughs> it's just, community when I go into a mother-in-law who's just recently retired and folk are pipping and waving, and I've been with other people before, and they're pipping and waving, and I think, well, where's mine? I've been doing it for years. I've been doing it for years. I'm sort of, or maybe I look grumpy when I'm doing it, I don't know, but I've just got the ear pods on and away I go. I'm, go. I'm just, uh, but but it's, it's good having that sort of visual thing as well, because it might give people an idea, you know, even if they don't live around here. Yeah, no, it's, 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 I, I'm just trying to... 
I, I mean, I've sort of spoke about. I have this spiel. It's a bit. I feel like a bit like I'm. I don't know, but it's, it's, some of the stuff I say is, is I've said it quite often. But I think litter breeds litter. Yeah. And if there's yeah. less litter, I think more folk are maybe more, more likely to, yeah. or less likely, sorry, to throw it's, it down. Yeah. So I mean, and, and then I don't know. I, I just hate it. And I've got a little bit of. It's maybe an age thing as well. I don't know, but I've got a little bit of pride yeah. in the town, yeah. and you know, I've lived here all my life. I've, you know, I've travelled, but I've always, I've never lived anywhere. Yeah. Though. I was a long distance lorry driver, and I've so you've know, seen. Oh, I've seen good, the bad, and the ugly. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So, but as I've got all that, and I just, I don't know. I just, it's something I can do. I bet if someone had said to you, what thirty years ago, you know what, Tony, in thirty years you're going to win an award for litter picking. Right? Oh. Yeah. You'd have gone down, you bike. Yeah, no, no, well, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't you? No, I'd have no, thought they were mad. Yeah. But, uh, but I think, he, you know, the, 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 you, you, you've obviously changed, don't you, as you get older. You yeah, oh, definitely. Out, and you see things in a completely different light than what you do when you're yeah, younger. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I mean, I call my... <laughs> sat on the sofa with YouTube. It's my, my happy place. Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah. like, even 10 years ago, I was like, yeah. what? It's, it's true. So I'm just, I'm just, I can't wait to get to my sofa and watch tele. And you're flicking down little road because it's like, oh. you may also like this. Yeah, yeah, end up like, like a worm all and away you go. <laughs> yeah, right? it's, like, you know, it's three o'clock in the morning. Next thing I'm watching insects right? attacking insects or something <laughs> random. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> But uh, no, it's uh, so yeah. I just I don't know. I just think if I can um, put something back some time. I think time again is another one. I, it's time that's so precious. Yeah. It's so expensive because yeah. you know hourly yeah. wage and wages yeah, and yeah. everything. Yeah. And then volunteering is sometimes it's quite uh, it's quite a, a commitment. Yes. Whereas mine, I'm volunteering. You're volunteering your time. At my you? time, when I can give it, yeah. I, there's nobody expecting it. There's nobody there bringing up, well, you, yeah. you know, yeah, if the weather's like, cronk, I yeah, won't go. Yeah. Uh, but I can see the results instantly. You yeah. know, you walk back and look up the street and yeah. think, you know, that, that looked that, pretty crap that. before. Yeah. Now it looks all right. Yeah. Um, and I'm just doing it for myself. And you know what? It is fairly, it's, it's hard work as well. You, yeah, you know, the bag gets filled and then I can imagine. sometimes there's, Certain bits where I end up doing, uh, there's not many dustbins because if you leave the blue bags next to a council bin, the council lads will come and take it away, and ladies. And uh, so, yeah, it's some of the spots, but I've sort of befriended things like uh, the the, the, uh, Gilmont dentists have been ever so good at that end, up top of Allswater Road, because they have a big, massive wheelie bin. So I've asked permission because I I, I used to have to put get a net to come and pick me up and put me back at car and it's <laughs> dripping as all well. and uh, so now they've befriended me and uh, I've sort of like uh, I've took the yeah the, that's really really useful because yeah. down there there's nothing yeah that's awesome though and it is proper oh no it's good spirit, yeah though, yeah it? it's great you know, so that's I, what I think that what you do might inspire other people to do other community projects oh well but, I mean I can only hope it's, so it's like, I can only hope. someone sees somebody going out no one you don't have to do what you do no not you know, at all say you do it because of your pride of where you live and because like you just said kind of like attracts like doesn't it so if yeah if there's a lot of litter it'll attract a lot of if there isn't a lot of yeah. litter it won't attract litter hopefully no, it's, yeah so, and then when people like bus- local businesses see what you're doing and they're more than happy to help i mean that's awesome no, it's, it? uh, you know, it's, it's just like a it's a small step in a. You, you know, can only long, hope. Yeah, yeah you yeah. can only hope. And I hopefully, mean, if someone's listening to this, they might. Oh yeah, no, know, honestly, if, if anybody. Because I'm going to put some links in yeah, attached yeah. to this, and then if people want to contact you. Just the other day, I was uh, I met some folks, strangers. Oh yeah. I never thought of that did I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, heck we'll I'll just pause this to see. What <laughs> oh my goodness! I'll just. Uh, I never should have put that onto silent, shouldn't I? That's fine. Does it work? Is it important? No, it was my mother-in-law. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> what do you want? I didn't know better. <laughs> I've just been talking about you, bloody little picking. Oh, that's worrying. Uh, Never mind. <laughs> she's, got, she's got the caravan of love bugged. <laughs> oh, now she's texting me. <laughs> Answer your phone. <laughs> oh, bless her. Where were we? I've got no idea. Community, we're... community spirit. But, uh, community. Yes. Hopefully, because like I said, if I'll get people to... You know, put links in yeah. so if people want to contact you, they can. And if that's all right with you, yeah, I'll just, I just like I said the other day, I met some folk on Peak and Edge and they were litter picking. Yeah. And she was bending down with her hands, and the, the husband had the bag and it, it was blowing around and this, that, and the other. And the, again, they were of a certain age. Yeah. And they, they just, I think they said they'd recently moved up and yeah, this, that, yeah. the other. And 
I just oh, like without being a weird, I turned around and came back and I'm trying to sort of like. So you were just going where I was driving yeah. past. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I saw them and I thought, oh, it's amazing. And I didn't recognize them, but yeah. obviously, just like I said, they weren't from around here. And uh, so I'm trying to, in my nicest possible way, explain that I'm not, not some sort of, I'm not going to mug them. I, I'm not some raggy. I wish I was 15, so. <laughs> uh, you know what? And I'm just trying to be, and in the end, I sort of wore them down a bit. And uh, so. It's I said like to be as unevasive as I can. I said, yeah. give us your number and I'll, yeah. I'll text you yeah, and yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a, yeah. a, ho a hoop yeah. and a picker. In the end, she told me where she lived. So I was like, <laughs> so I just dropped it at the door the other oh, day. Awesome. So I, I just try and, if ever I see anybody yeah. and they yeah. haven't got the kit, yeah. I just try and sort of, it's great. That it's, there must be somebody doing Beacon Edge, you yeah. see. I mean, mother-in-law yeah. there, she's just recently retired. So she, she's on Peniel Park. So she does round there and sort of town head. Yeah. Uh, my sort of bit, I sort of do like Brunswick Road, uh, what you call Cromwell Road, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Bit of Castlegate, Oldswater Road, Castle Park. Uh, if I have company, I like to go on the, the Jill Carriage Way and then come down Bridge Lane. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah. If, if, the last time Sylvia's with us, because basically if one person's one side of the road, yeah, you're doing yeah, the other. Yeah, yeah. Now it's missed, but yeah. if you're on your Todd, you've got to go yeah, down there and come back, back up, haven't you? Yeah. So it's yeah. great when there's two of you. And it's kind of like... It's the entrance to town, isn't it? Well, that's so, kind of my main. You know, it's there's two yeah. ways into Penrith, isn't there? And it and I can't and it's do anything. Like, like, but... It's that first impression. Absolutely. Of a, you know, a tourist coming up. If it looks nice yeah, yeah. and clean, yeah, it's it, they're already in a positive sort of mood for yeah, the yeah, town. Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, even though they won't be able to get parks. <laughs> well, I had some bloody parking. <laughs> but, that's the same. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. To be fair. But I, I, just, I just like the contrast of contrast of when you get off the train at Penrith. You know, you have got the lovely old train station. You have got the Castle, yeah, yeah, and then you got the, the McDonald's, which I don't find offensive. I, I quite like the, the, the new and the old, they can well, all they work kind of, together. They kind of had to make that, yeah, in keeping, kind of, didn't they? Yeah, because you, you know, they come in kit forms, don't yeah, they? Yeah, I think it was and a little bit more, th there was more to it. I think they had to add sandstone, uh, maybe yeah, base to it to make it sort of matching slightly, but yeah. So it's because, uh, like I said, the modern world we live in, I know all these fast food and takeaways, but they don't tell anybody to throw <laughs> no, it on the floor. No, there's nothing, no. just there's enough no. bins, yeah, exactly. or take it with you and find exactly. a bin, you know. I mean, to to McDonald's, from what I've seen on my travels around the country and in town, their litter pickers go above and beyond, mm. you know, their their remit, so to speak. I actually, they seem to cover like a quite a circumference. No, they do it. actually, yeah, they're not bad. The, the, the latest one they have at Penrith, here, Martin, I've befriended him, and, and uh, also, and uh, no, he's a good lad, and yeah. he sort of he goes above and beyond, and uh, He's really keen to, to keep what yeah, he can clean yeah. and that. That's and, good uh, how someone takes a pride in the job. Do oh you know no, what I mean? Absolutely. It's like, and this this is going to sound awful. It's no disrespect at all, but he's, he's litter picking. Yeah, yeah. But he takes a pride in what he does. Yeah. And, you know, how great is that? No, it's, somebody, yeah, yeah. But it, it makes such a, an impact it's such a on thing, everyone yeah. around. No, it is. Well. I mean, it, it's quite a, a little thing, but it looks... It, it makes such a big impact, thing, yeah. you know? But like I say, it's... Uh, I try and promote it, and 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 uh, I need to zero my. Uh... Is that her again? Yeah. I don't know what. Uh... Do you want to take it? I can pause this. Go on then. Maybe I'd uh... please if that's okay. Pause. It's on... so where was we? I still, I was still on my litter picking sort of spill, weren't we? But um... you were on about. Uh, I'm trying to think where we was. Had given me, uh, I mean, you, you, I've spoken to Nikki who set up this um, wumbling for you. All right, and yeah. She, I said, is there anything I can sort of tech with us or, or how can you? What about and, coming on the show? Yeah. Have you? It, nice. And then she was like, well, and so she sent me this, so I've printed it off. Yeah. And it's like the totals of what, because we all log it, we put it on a website. Yeah. And then you sort of, I use my, my walk. Right. So folk can see where I've been, I yeah, take yeah. a little screenshot, and then you'll take an odd picture of a bag to prove you've sort of done, done something. something yeah. And then, but this is where I get lost, because it, it's somewhere, I can't not very good with computers, but they log it all, Yeah. and then they send it all off to the council every year. So And they say how, much, how many tons it, of them? Well, it's bags on year 21, or 2021, should I say. They did 93 picks, Yeah. and they did 491 bags. Bloody hell. So year 22... 205 picks and they got 471 bags yeah and then 23 was 91 and 400 and 
82 bags. So, you know, the thick end of 500 bags a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That they're picking. And they've just been left. Right yeah, out just, to go just in around the about, yeah. So. Down Cornwall Way, it would have ended up in the sea. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, this is, this is us up here, though. Oh, that's, oh, that's just that Cumbria. Oh, right. That's just, is that the Eden one? Yeah, yeah. Is it? That's just them. Oh, wow. Oh, us. You know, we, we, yeah, yeah. So, no, that's just us lot up here. Yeah. That's ice. So, like 500 bags off mm. a, year, a year, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. give and take 20 odd bags. It's thick end of 500 so, a year. I, I noticed there, there's actually images of the Wumbles. Have you got? Yeah, yeah. Have you got names? Are you Uncle Bulgaria? Well, I, somebody, <laughs> I got a knock at the door off a lovely lady. I do, sorry, I do forget your name. And she dropped me off. Uh, I've got two. I've got Uncle Bulgaria and Tobamori, I think, in the hand. So I've <laughs> yeah. got a lot of wee things. Like, yeah. What size of you? So, yeah, yeah. So I don't know if they were toys back in the seventies or what yeah, I don't yeah. know, but uh, so Just yeah. Give them you. Yes, I've Excellent. got a couple. I don't know which one I am. I don't know. You see, that's My... another it's little community. Madame Chouflé. <laughs> <laughs> like like, that's completely lost on a whole generation mm. watching and listening this to this. It's like the Wumbles used to be our our television. In fact, <laughs> I don't think kids have to. Well, I know they do, but it's not like I mean there was only three channels back in the day. There anyway, was yes, there? there was. So it wasn't like there wasn't a lot of choice, but it did seem. And better, better quality and the national anthem at the end of the day or whatever it was and, <laughs> and then a little white test card yeah. what was that all about like, card. a lassie <laughs> yeah, with a little she side, <laughs> was like she semi naked and she was sat with a chalkboard on. yeah chalkboard and a little clown who the <laughs> right. like that. I swear they were all off the tits <laughs> in them days what's it magic roundabout oh and, and when he used to watch um, finger bobs, and that, and it was just like, <laughs> it was just, they were absolutely off the nut, weren't yeah. they? they were just, Sounds like another podcast, <laughs> 70s TV shows. <laughs> How random. I should get a load of people our age and just all run this about <laughs> our childhood days. You know, Bagpuss and... Oh, yeah. There was just so many. And oh, one of my favourites was um, the Clangers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, woo. <laughs> <laughs> no idea what you're saying, but you love it, huh? <laughs> no, it's a good crack. Like. It was brilliant. Absolutely. Different times. Yeah, totally. Different so times. We've diverse somewhat yeah. off the subject of Little Piggy. <laughs> but, <laughs> but um, so you you won this award as well. I mean, I bet you were like. Oh, the award, what? yeah, though, uh, true. I've, I've, I, I can honestly say hand on heart, I don't think I've ever won a thing in my life. And yeah. it was slightly bizarre because. People were telling me, oh, great pitch in the paper. And I'm thinking, I had no well, idea. It's just the nomination thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like, there was this Tony Perez literally picking with all these eight or ten other four. Yeah. And uh, I, I had no idea. And then, so you uh, hadn't even been contacted? No, not a clue. Wow. No, honestly, I had not a clue. So, uh, and then it was still some time. Maybe they were busy trying to, just, it's just, I don't mind. It was just a bit no, random yeah, that yeah, nobody yeah. got in touch with us. Yeah. And eventually, the lady rang us up. I think it's Joe that called her, and she just said, "Oh, would you mind coming along and on the night?" Yeah. And um, so we did. But I was in such company. I mean, you know, like Dan Hardy with the bid and yeah, that. And yeah, he, he, see, never that really? he, he never stopped. He never stopped. It's all voluntary. Oh there's no, no, there's no money involved. There's then a there lot a... of money comes to play with, but the, the, oh. everyone who's in bid, they're all volunteers. I know. It, it, I know it, honestly, I was in such company, and then uh, I mean, they were all winners. Sat on that. Maybe another cliche, like, but honest to God, there was another guy that had been with Lions for God knows how long. I yeah. think he was mascot. I'm not sure to be honest. There was two old ladies sat next to my wife was next to them. I never got much crack with them, but they were like, making like. Eight odd meals for so all for, of you lot were off on one table. Pretty, there was other people, but right. the ones I was on on yeah, my yeah. big eight to ten fork sat on this was table. All, all the unsung hero table. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, <laughs> yeah, and it was so, like <laughs> when you when you won without it, without without doing that polite Oscars clap. Well, I, I, <laughs> oh, and the cameras on you. Oh yes, it's I, a worthy I, winner. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. To be honest, I was. Sort of, <laughs> you I didn't know what. I, even right down to I know it's fucking easy to say, but. I I never had a clue, not a clue. I I, I no, it, it could have been anybody. And then uh, it was it's, lovely. It's all done on a public vote, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I was sort of, I was having a bit of a laugh, like hashtag vote Tony and all this. Yeah, like, yeah, I went yeah. along with it, and even yeah. before, even though nobody got in touch with us. But yeah. uh, I think you've got to be in it to win it, haven't you? Absolutely. But, uh, but no, it was. Um, like I said, I was in some very very good company, and uh, I, I think anybody could have. Uh, I, I, there's folk doing charity work at uh, Ian Ridley I went to school and he was yeah. the wagons and yeah, that. he was, he was wagons, doing charity yeah, work yeah. and, and I, like, I can't that's, uh, top of head, I can't remember some of the others but 
And I bet you're thinking, all I do is pick it. Yeah, no, I get it. Like, you know, these fucking, you know, I've done, I know I've done it for a few years, but I don't know how long these people have been doing what they do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was yeah. maybe just a, like a loud pup, really. But uh, no, and I, and I won and it was great. And I had a top night. Did you have to give a little night. speech or not? Or did uh, you just sort of say, oh, thanks? I think I was going to, but in the end, I didn't have to. So it oh, maybe right. worked well, oh, I'm yeah. not sure. Uh, yeah. But uh, I, was, I, I did have a few sentences but uh i'd, 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 I'd imagine you've had a few sherbets uh, yeah, but by you? then it, it seems to get a little bit vague because <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's maybe the adrenaline as well because i was yeah. probably cacking myself yeah. I, I can't remember well i can but i can't Cause it's this it's quite a although i've been nominated for one the, when i was in my year i wasn't there because i was at this wedding uh, and i had to go to the wedding because my daughter was bridesmaid and the girl who got married, she's kind of like my sort of goddaughter, so to speak. Right, yeah, she's yeah. not really officially, but yeah, yeah. that's how I, she's almost like a second daughter. The two twins. Hey, Gemma and Rach, if you're listening. Mm. Hi. So it was their wedding, and uh, so I sent, I asked Karen, the coffee girl, if she'd go on my behalf. Yeah. So she, she took a friend. She said it was an amazing night and all the rest of it because it's like there's quite a lot of tables, isn't there? And there's, yeah, well, there's there different there, awards yeah. for different things. Ah, there was all, all the shops were getting yeah, like. Best coffee shop and yeah, whatever it was, yeah. and best food outlet. So quite and all a, there's a lot of people there, isn't there? It's not like it's yeah, just no, there. no, there's, there's quite a few. There's yeah. a lot of people, and there's a lot of fa- and then it's obviously you get up. <laughs> it's like all eyes on you, isn't it? So I will, uh, like I say, I, I'm just a litter picker, but uh, you're a bit of a hero yourself. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, not really. Just but, the right, right place, at, wrong, right person, at yeah, right, yeah, yeah, wrong pl- at the wrong time or whatever. Yeah. So. Oh, but yeah, nice so, water. so the yeah. awards after that, did you just sort of spend the night? Is there a bit of a disco? What, no, no, there was a disco and a bit boogie. I had the, even it, the Northern it? Soul moves came out at one point, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was it Soul, you get, Soul Junction. Did you get free booze or something? Or? Oh, God, no, no, it wasn't. Oh, well, God. maybe you get was there maybe wine, wine at the table yeah. or something? But I don't sub the yeah. stuff. Well, I'm not good with wine. Are you not? So I drink it like beer, it's no good. So no, I, I, was just, uh, more I just stuck to pints, sir. Eh? I, I can't remember if it was. Where was it at Ranthorn? Up at Ranthorn, yeah. I which, yeah. I, I mean, I, I saw that the, the fella that runs it, Graham, you know, I, I got married up there. That's 25 years. Right. You know, 25 years this year, and he's, he's, he's still there. <laughs> and I don't know how long he'd been there before, before I got married. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So is, I is think it, it's still is it still a, a family run business though. Isn't I it? think so. But I mean, I must admit, I don't know much about it. No. But it's it's, it's got lovely because there's that nice kind of newish bit on the left yeah, hand yeah. side as you're looking at it isn't there i, just, I mean the gardens are nice and you know the vista and when the, you look the, across it's, it's lovely, it's lovely. A, lot the, a lot of the schools have their um oh, prom, prom and there, yeah. don't they so. oh we've had a uh, we've been up there for a couple of proms so, yeah uh various ones i think both mine were at north lakes actually but maybe other foxes that we know yeah. here that's it you go nice. to people your mates his kids don't you yeah know, yeah, and yeah, you see yeah. Them all dressed up which is which no. is a peculiarly New thing, innit? Oh, it's like an American thing that's kind of crossed yeah, the Atlantic uh, and become a thing in this it, country yeah, now. I mean, it? They get all dressed up. It's yeah, nice. Yeah. And it's all green. You know, even the boys, I think they like to get the suits on yeah, and that. Yeah. But hell, when we were bloody... And you just lifted up. You in the yeah. skill disco. Yeah, you just, that was it. You, you, you quite like to go and get a pint with teachers. <laughs> <and> Sally. <laughs> <laughs> bloody salvation. <laughs> and then... Uh, I've changed. <laughs> but uh, no, to different times. But uh, so, yeah, it, it's... Uh, it's it's nice up there, but no, I had a good night. A very a, a hell of a totally night. Totally overwhelmed and just like I couldn't believe. It. Totally, totally, yeah. and, and and I mean I can't because there's no runner up, is there? It's not like I don't know. Really, huh? third, they didn't say in third place. It's so and so. Well, you know what? I think every one of them got a runners up. Oh, did they? I think they got right. a little thingy. A little something. But, yeah, so, so there wasn't like a one, two, three, or like that. Just, I don't think. On the picture I saw of you, there was just like a um, a certificate. Yeah. Did you get a little glass? I, I don't think so. Oh, I've got a, I got my badge off the mare, little pin yeah, badge and that. But yeah. no, I've got it. Uh, I've got it. I've got it framed and hung up. Oh <laughs> yeah. no! Uh, we uh, we back. It must be cuts, but because then be, yeah. we got this fabulous trophy thing. Oh um, no, I don't remember a glass. trophy. I lost it drunk. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of these glass <laughs> kind of weird things. All oh, right, you, you oh, know, no, it's I don't not know. like a. It's just an award thing, just a weird shaped piece of uh-huh. piece of glass with like it. The name, your name engraved right. on it. Right. Oh, no, uh, I haven't got So there uh, must be cuts now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't know. Don't know, know that. <laughs> but no, it was, it was a good night. But I mean, again, I've, I've, I've said this before to people, but I think 
you know, it wasn't me so much that's the win, it's the town. When you look for a small town and all them people in doing all different so much, kinds yeah, of Yeah. It can only like make the place a yeah. better place to be. Yeah. It's just, you know, they, 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 everybody was so diverse. You know, from your, your lions to charity work to these ladies at the whole, uh, at the church making the teas and dinners for folk. Yeah, it's great how people it's just, just think to themselves one day, you know what, I'm uh, going to do something to make a difference. In if you've got the life. time to give, yeah. you know what I mean? You can use your it's, time yeah. as you want, but I mean, you know, you can sit on your ass or you yeah. can go and do yeah, something, can't you? Can do something productive. It's time. Yeah. Time, is the, it's... Time, is the, time, time is the key. But as well, I think if people manage the time, yeah. it, we're, we're all guilty of just sitting oh, around honestly. doing sod all aren't we you yeah know? no i mean it's, and, it's myself yeah. sometimes i've sat there and i'm thinking oh, i can't be yeah, so yeah. i've won that bloody award i'm gonna finish your face <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no it's, it's do you find there's kind of black spot areas that are always worse than others without wanting to name parts uh, of town. Oh, that's, I was, there's always bits but right? i mean it's it's a the very high trafficked areas yeah. as in people a different mean, time obviously Sunday mornings must be, if you've ever been out on a Sunday morning, well, that yeah, must be worse than, because I know when I speak to the litter guys in town, oh, the ones that get paid for it, they say, you know, Saturday Friday, nights, Saturday, Sunday mornings, yeah, oh. Saturday night, so sometimes Saturday mornings are a nightmare. Sorry, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Me and him are going to fall out, yeah, aren't right. he's going to have <laughs> And, um, uh, and Sunday mornings, and, and then the, the crows and the blackbirds get oh. involved, and it's just, Carnage. Yeah, in, in no, I mean, I normally like worst I've had is when I was walking out park is bank holidays. So it'd be this, I'll, yeah. be, I'll be think I'll be talking the Monday morning. Yeah, yeah. Especially in the summer ones where folk are in the park, it's lashing it up, you know. And yeah. I, I get it, I don't mind. It yeah. was a shame they just can't put it in bin. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we. I mean, like I say, we've all. I've been brought up on Castlegate and uh, hell the amount of times I've been in that park drinking beer when I shouldn't have been. But yeah. I, I'm sure. I can't say for certain, but. I'm sure we had to tidy up because we wouldn't be able to go back next yeah, week. Yeah. They'd have known. Well, you'd, you'd leave a trace of where... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there wouldn't be rocket yeah, yeah. they would know. And even though it was different times then, there was no such thing as CCTV and stuff like no. that, but there was coppers that were... That would hit you. Yeah, and they were bothered, <laughs> you know. Not that the police maybe aren't bothered yeah, now, no, but, you know, it was a different, yeah, yeah, no. totally different era, wasn't it? So, oh. you know, they'd be more than happy to I remember being crack a few schools. Terrified of coppers, when I think. Yeah, you, you was, though, then, weren't you? Oh, proper. Even though you'd never done nothing wrong, the copper would come up to you and you'd <laughs> shit yourself. It's like, even though you'd never done anything, you know. And if only anyone to know. No. I don't know, the time. It's like walking through a security check in there for a day, you know. You can't help but look guilty. <laughs> I've got nothing. I've got nothing. <laughs> what you looking at me for? I've got nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I've got two metal knees. Oh, I so, so. <laughs> so, <laughs> have to virtually strip off. You <laughs> 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 have to go through this little bionic man. <laughs> Do the old thing. There's another na, 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 70s na, na, reference. Na. <laughs> I was actually watching that the other day. Cause really? Because I'd been off with having this yeah. knee up. So I kind of watched every Netflix documentary going. Oh. I thought, you know, at first I thought, oh, it's going to be great. I can catch up on all this. And I've like just sickened myself with telly <laughs> and I ended up watching reruns of the Sweeney oh, yeah. and the six million dollar man <laughs> it's kind of like but it was so it was ace to watch yeah, you yeah. Know, the Sweeney was great because mm. it was like I was looking at it thinking man this was kind of groundbreaking back in the time yeah. you know I was looking at it from not that I'm a director or anything but from like a an artistic point yeah, of view without yeah. sounding too pompous. Yeah, yeah. Because I was thinking, look, the way the camera angles moved and how the camera moved with them. And yeah, you can yeah, imagine, yeah. you know, Dixon Dot Green would have just been, you know, oh, one yeah, camera. Oh, it just sat, just, just sat, you know what I mean? And it must have been completely new and exciting. I quite like the way then. they used to sort of, especially like the swing, like they, they were showing you the old style sort of, you know, they would get the information from yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Back you, you yeah, know, you, yeah. you, 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 you were yeah. scared of them. Yeah. Well, they were almost as much villains as the I know, you know, they'd say, well, where's very the line? line weren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Very but if they're getting results, results. And, and then, you know, then they get the bigger fish. Well, yeah, you know, yeah. fair play to them. But... And it was all, and it was really funny because I love watching older things like that. I was speaking to one of my customers and she, we always talk about, there's a, um, a channel on Sky called Rock and it kind of, it's all old sort of English and American um TV shows and films and that. Uh, it's kind of like one of the last channels on the film sort of section of okay. Sky Movies. And um, it's free, you get it with it. 
and they show a lot of old English classic films. Uh-huh. And I was watching, I love, um, there's a film called, uh, oh, with, oh, man, oh, man, I've got a man called Horse in my head. What's it called? Get Carter. Oh, yeah. Right. Um, Kane? Yeah. And oh, it was, was yeah, he helped himself. And it was great to watch it because it was set in Newcastle. But it was like so, the streets are so empty of cars. Uh. You know, when you watch the old London things and that, and it's like, there's no, you know, there's hardly mm. any traffic on the roads. There's places to sort of, you know, the people look completely different to it, obviously, as we do yeah, now because yeah. the fashion's changed. But it's awesome to just watch yeah. that bit and, you know, knew you were part of it, yeah, although yeah. we were only youngsters, but yeah, nevertheless, man. it was. I love watching stuff like that and sort of catching up. So, so I was watching that while I was off, but like I say, I got a bit, got a bit sickened with all the. Yeah, I all remember the that telly. a modern day one. It was, is it? There was, there was a film of it. Thirteen weeks, is it? Twenty eight days or something like that. We had Killian Murphy, but it was one of them zombie ones. Oh yeah, twenty eight days the, later. And he wakes up in the hospital. Yeah. And it's daylight and he's in London. And yeah. that was about, was it first light? Like in the middle of summer, yeah. three or four in yeah. the morning. Yeah. And there's, obviously there's, they must have kept the, the, the milkman away yeah. and that, but yeah. and he's just walking yeah. through London as yeah. nobody. Yeah. You think, how the hell did he do that? that? But it's funny because I've been to London a couple of times and you can get away from the crowds quite easily. You know, you just, you just automatically think London, it's going to be this crazy metropolis filled with thousands of people everywhere. And it obviously is in like Oxford Street and yeah, yeah. and all the sort of. But you just go off piste a little bit, and you've you've got a whole a whole road to yourself. It's, well, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's coming, if you know where to go, I suppose. Same, same was it in New York. You thought, oh, it's going to be mental, but it's like you can go off, and it's just like you've pretty much got a whole, you know, a whole street to yourself, oh, so nice. to speak. It's just I you know, you can, that's, oh, it's well worth a visit. I know. Wife keeps with, saying she just thinks I'd like it. So. Yeah, it is like if you like London. London's great for look, being London. You know, you've got all that history and all mm. that culture that you, you know you automatically think of as London. But what I found with New York was that you kind of because we've been sort of grown up on New York, haven't we? Yeah, you know, with television shows. Yeah. So you, you, it was you felt like you knew it, even yeah, though you'd yeah. never been there in your life. So you got off the you got off the plane, you get the yellow cab into into Manhattan, and then. It's kind of like it's exactly like yeah. the television, you know. There's there's cop cars constantly going around. Ah. There's steam coming out the streets. There's hustle. There's bustle. No, it's, it's exactly, oh, but it didn't seem totally alien. It yeah, was, yeah, it, no, yeah, You know, because you've watched that many TV shows. You know, Starsky and Hutch. And yeah, yeah, God absolutely. Knows, you know, God, it's turned into seventies now, isn't it? <laughs> 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 but you know, it's but it's. And it's a place I'd want to go back to. It was one of yeah, them places. Maybe, yeah, I'll, I'll it was like a, you do a whirlwind tour, you do all the tourist things. I suppose it's the same with every tourist, no matter where yeah. they go in the world, isn't it, for wherever they're from. You do, you pick a particular place and you just go berserk. For yeah, and go around and down the pictures, all, don't yeah. And then, yeah, and it was kind of like, if you've got a stepper, because I bet you do a fair few steps with the old litter picking, don't you? You can do. I mean, you can rack up. Uh, three or four miles, yeah. quite easy, you know, because you I mean, you've gone to motorway and back, you know. Do you give yourself like a a time limit or. Oh, I. I, I goes the air ambulance. I, oh, hell. <laughs> uh, I, I sometimes say, you know, the wife's given up, but I used to say, I'll see you in three hours or something yeah. like that. It never will be. No. And then even when I take bin bags, I end up taking more than I'll ever think I need. Yeah. But you know what? Most of the time, I'll bloody use them. Will you? Or if I've got them, I will. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm maybe yeah. talking six. Yeah. But I maybe think, oh, four's enough. And I think, no, 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 I'll take six. Yeah. And I'll end up using six. So yeah. sometimes you might get some broken glass and they might need double bag and yeah, yeah. cuts and yeah. stuff yeah. like that and yeah. stuff. But no, I, you know, you can give a fair old walk. But like, you know, it's all... <laughs> but like it's, it's all good. It's all good. Walking is the best for, for Oh, place, lovely. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, I, lo- I, I love walking. And not only that, you're getting out and you you're meeting people, aren't you? Because yeah. you, you know, you're meeting people you wouldn't, you wouldn't have met. No, I've met, met a few. No, I met a few. Again, I met a, 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 this lady. I, I still don't remember her name, but she, uh, we, I met her at the. She was waiting for a bus at the train station, and yeah. I was walking by. She says, "Oh, I do my road up where I live somewhere in. I think it was uh, KB Thor." Right. And she says, she says, "Oh, she was admiring me picker and me who." <laughs> and I says, "Well, I've got plenty of these. You want one?" So I met her a week later, same place, same time. She come into town yeah. once a week, whatever. And I met her, and oh, she went on a merry way with the stuff. And so she's, well she's hopefully she's yeah. picking Kirby Thought till heart's content. So 
so yeah, you know, and the people you meet, and I, I often, more so in the park, it's surprising how many folk you can meet, you know, like the tourists and that from yeah. all over the world. Yeah, yeah. I've met all sorts from Canadians to China to yeah. you know, and they're all. Some people think I'm hired, and then they, or they think I'm a naughty boy or whatever. <laughs> you must get but, that one. Yeah. You must be sick of that. Well, well, you're for uh, information too. Yeah, well, I, that's why I sort of got the. I never used to bother with the high visor out. Yeah. I just went in whatever I wore, but yeah. Eventually, I felt obliged because the folk were just looking at it like you're yeah. mad. mad. Yeah. And then it, so I put the high visor on, and then I I, I put Tony on because I thought if folk want to. Ask That's, you questions. Yeah, it's a, once a, and yeah. then uh, and then uh, I put volunteer on in the end because <laughs> <laughs> again no, I'm not, I'm not, I am of good state of mind and I'm I'm not a, by Her Majesty's pleasure. I'm just doing it because I can. You want to? So yeah, it's uh, but yeah, I've had a few looks and uh, you know, but most of it, it's uh, but I, I most of it I, when I go with other people people approach them more than they do me I think yeah. people leave me alone people... I must look grumpy as hell as well. I don't know <laughs> but, but like I say I get me tunes and away I go oh, yeah. I'm just picking yeah. her in I'll, uh, but I don't mind so it's good it's good therapy then eh? it's like, yeah yeah like, no it's, it's absolutely you know you clear fun. your mind you just get it's, it's not rocket science so you're no, just no, no. getting on you can yeah. just it's almost meditative I'd imagine yeah, yeah no it's, it's, like it's, it's, it's good I just like you said, and you can see res results straight away, so yeah, it's quite good yeah. that way. And then, you know, there is two sides to it. Well, you know, you go down maybe a day later and you and see, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. At recycling days, oh, they do my head in. Like when, yeah. there's, when there's a storm, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. just everywhere. Yeah. And, you know, oh and even and the, uh, we have a problem here with with the seagulls. Oh uh, yeah, so we, we used all... to have a one up all way, but it stopped now. Did you? Uh, we, have, we have loads because I don't know if it's because of the hospital or what. Could be, but. In the summer, it's so from kind of nowish, they've kind of re emerged again, and they'll just so we've all we all cover out. Oh, you got to cover with blankets, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. We did, I yeah. they get to know the blue, don't they? Yeah, and they just completely shred the bag, yeah, yeah, and then the place just looks a look of bombs it oh, and then and loud and all and yeah, yeah and they get up so early <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh, you know uh, if, yeah if there is a second life i don't want to come back as a second no. i have a lion yeah. <laughs> eating somebody else's cat who do a bag and yeah. up at four in the morning yeah. to do it that's not me rubbish that's, that's a shit job <laughs> <laughs> no i don't fancy that myself <laughs> so yeah, do you we're in the caravan of love, as you can see. And very and cosy it is too. Thank you very much. How's your caravanning days going? You still active? Yes, yeah. caravanning is good. Uh, we weren't just sure with the kids now grown up uh, how it would go, but it's looking like we might probably use it as much as we ever did. Mm. With more space. Uh, more space yeah. and, and sort of... It's less of you go, it's a bit easier to organise, yeah, isn't it, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, they've got their own lives now, so we've just recently booked one for Easter. We're off down to Shrewsbury. Uh, then I've got uh, in the summer we're off to France again. Yeah, with another good friends of ours, another family. Which uh, which ferry crossing do you? Did you go we've done. Or, or did you do honest the old to God, train? we've nearly done them all. Have you? Uh, You've done the Santander one. You know when you go from is it. Plymouth, and it kind of it's like a 24 hour crossing and it takes you down to we've we've Santander been to in spain plymouth was it plymouth roscoff so we, we went went to and you think why the hell am i going all the way down yeah, here in yeah, england but when yeah. you look at the geography it's it's you know if you want to be down here in france yeah it's quite yeah yeah uh so it, it just depends where you want to be where we where we've booked the site yeah but a lot of it is price as well it's so dear you now it? it's so yeah. dear and i mean it's i love where we live it's absolutely fab mm. but what a more like it is to get anywhere it's a day away isn't it it's a you know mm. you get from you pr you are covering the whole of england in the yeah yeah. For, yeah yeah because we're what are we 20 miles from the scottish border yeah, pretty yeah. much well 20 maybe yeah 30 i mean so, so. yes yeah, so it's 10 miles past carlisle isn't it? yeah so 30 miles bar yeah few all the way to the opposite end of england yeah and then it's like and then you've got to start and then you start then you start the big drive yeah, then yeah. yeah i know so it's, that's uh, always kind of put me off Especially oh. towing. I know, I mean, you've got a decent rig, haven't you? So yeah, yeah, towing's not a, a massive problem for you, but... Mm. It's, it's, uh, it's not, I'm not getting any younger, but well, what we try and do now is we used to just try and get there. It depended on ferry crossings, like yeah. we just briefly spoke about, but 
if sometimes if it was slightly longer you get a cabin yeah you try and get three or four hours kip and then go again then them days are gone i'm shagged i can't i need my kid yeah have a so and then we will have a proper camp site yeah and then we'll go again so this year we go and dover calais yeah because uh, we're off down right down the very bottom near the near the alps we sort of uh we're sort of very close at Swiss border at Geneva oh, yeah. and that, right oh, down in the bottom of there. Awesome. Um, never been to Airy before, so really looking forward to yeah. it. So, long story short, we do, we're going to drive from Penrith down to Dover, sail over on the same day, yeah. and then we've got a campsite not far away from Calais in right. France. Yeah, yeah. Get there, Keep have short. a good kip. Yeah, and then crack on. And then the next day, we'll, we've got about 500 miles oh, maybe yeah. to do, I think. So, was it 500k? I can't remember now. Because there's, there's a lot of toll roads in that as well, or not? There is, there's both, but uh, we'll just go by the toll. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's it's more, France is more geared up for your camper vans. Yeah, yeah. Which one day. Yeah. One it's always day. there. Because I'm guessing, right, you started tinting. Yes. And then bigger tent. My wife's idea, yeah. Then a caravan, tinting. and then eventually. Yeah, it's just progressive. Van. Yeah, that's sort, of, that's sort of where we're at. I mean, this is still. Uh, holiday yeah yeah you know even though it doesn't look like it, it doesn't change <laughs> so i have to reset this stuff and then take yeah. it all back down again but it's it's you wouldn't go back to camping would you no do you know what i mean and i'm no. we've ummed and ahed about camper vanning i suppose it's got its its pros and cons it's the same absolutely thing, i mean it? It, if you can leave your van and then pop into town in your car yeah. or, or yeah. sightseeing yeah, or whatever yeah. but yeah you know just just like i know we were just speaking about france there but these airs that they have every village every town like it, it, they'll be say a town the size of penrith mm. they'll have a car park it's yeah. got electric toilets it maybe cost you 10 euros and you can stay there the night you can even some are, some are all different some will have toilets they'll dump your waste yeah. water electric all for showers just like a tenor. all for like a tenor, and they're like municipal things run by the local council and but there's thousands really and they're all over but you, you can't take just... caravans right they're not, they're, that's what they do yeah, yeah. they call them camper cars i think in right. france and it's all geared up for that so yeah. it's, it's that alone that kind of and, and uh, like the towing it is it is a you could have your wits about you know, yeah you know yeah. even the loading of it i remember yeah. once we went down to cornwall and uh Nick, I, I got it bang on. It was straight as a die. It was yeah. lovely. Come on back, the bloody thing was everywhere. And I'm like, what, <laughs> what have I done? It's not different. And all it was was a big bag of washing, dirty washing. No. And I put it in the shower. Did you? And, and it, that was enough to... And it was enough to just wobble it about, so I put it in the middle of the thing. And, and it was all right. It was... It's all, so, yeah, it's... Um, but you see some people, people and the, the bloody... It's like that, isn't it? Oh, like, like the back uh, end yeah. of the car is down, the front end of the car yeah. is down. You think, how oh, the hell? No, you just, you've got to be... The wheel sorry. arches are virtually touching the tires. <laughs> think, oh, my God. I mean, we we can just tow, can't we? Because yeah. we didn't have to pass, because we passed our test. But I think now... Oh, the next kids, step, yeah, it's, it's, it's an extra test, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I don't think caravans come under that today, but nevertheless, you can. You can, because I know if you go down to the NEC yeah. or any sort of big camping and caravaning show, they do... They do the towing courses, courses there, don't they? Oh, we went there just this year, actually. Did you go to this year? Yeah, yeah. Did you? Uh, we stayed over, actually. We uh, we we drove down and uh, I drove down there and then we we uh, yeah we did it that day. Yeah. And then uh, we stayed overnight at a local hotel and then come back the next day. So yeah. and oh, I loved it. Like, but that money. Oh, it's, it's crazy money. Frightening. It? it was quite, you know, when you sort of think, yeah, oh, you know what, sod it, will bite the bullet or whatever. And yeah. then you start to start talking about it. Yeah. That's the price of a house. Yeah. I, I can't, yeah. I can't pay no, that. Exactly. And have you noticed as well that this caravan now is, I don't know, I think it's 20 years old, something like that. Yeah. And it's still solid. It's still... Watertight. It's yeah. What you yeah. Want. It's still in good nick. Yeah. And... When we were at the Camping and Caravan show last year, I was looking around some of them and they were like, God, they really looked really quite cheap. You knew it yeah, wouldn't flimsy. last. Yeah. Yeah. There was no... When you start looking at it, yeah, you think, you think hang on, I mean, this is gonna, only going to last like no. five years tops. Yeah, I know. You know, and and even the, the things that you sat on, they weren't... And you do, as you know, you do most of your... Especially when it's peeing down, you do most of his time just sitting on these chairs, don't you? Just Get looking the at the cards out. <laughs> go, go, go Scrabble. I should have bloody gone abroad. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're, and then obviously you you went to the other opposite end. 
and it was insane, wasn't it? The oh. quality was fantastic. Got bloody marble. Yeah, like, no, it, it's tops it's from the madness. In, in it. Absolutely Crazy. madness. As long as you can, if you can afford marble tops, you're not be worried about fuel consumption, no, will you? No, but, uh, no. but no, I, 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 the caravans are great. I mean, like I said, I would never sell it to anybody. If you like that sort yeah, of lifestyle, yeah. you'll go with it. Yeah. I mean, it's like it's, the Crocs, which yeah. I can't believe. I, I can't the believe you. I'm so sorry. I feel bad now. <laughs> I've got another pair in the house. I've got three of my own. I've got one at the front door, one at the back door, and I've got a pair I haven't even worn. Have, have you got a pair for best? I've got a pair for yeah, best. Yeah, I've got yeah. best pair, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no. Which that. <laughs> I've got three. And then I've a got, mate of mine recently got me some, uh, you know, them bloody lights that you put in them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But mine are like, yours are like, they haven't got the holes like yeah, standard yeah. ones, so they, the things wouldn't fit, fit in. in them. Yeah. So they're on wives. They're like torches, eh? So you can see where you're going. They're, they're great on the, in the campsite, aren't they? Oh, I mean, you, you can go to slip them on, you beach, go to the shower, shower toilet. It's just like pool. One shoe fits all in yeah, it. Yeah, no, they're, they're, just, they're just right. Good we at what want they to do. be sponsored. The next episode of Spud Life is sponsored by Crocs. You heard ah. it here first. <laughs> yeah, so I was sat on holiday last year and I, I bought some more. Right. These looking a bit tatty. I'll get me some <laughs> more. <laughs> Sat on holiday and order. I've never worn them since. That's last summer. No, they but, are great. No, yeah. I do. I do. Uh, I get some stick for that, man. Yeah. Again, the marmite, aren't they? Yeah, yeah they will yeah, yeah. them. But yeah. I, again, I would never sell them. It's just no. It's, it's just it's each to their own. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Each to their own. Absolutely. But, you know, they fit a purpose, and it's oh, it's great. But you know, like you're saying, that camping sort of holidays vibe. They're, they're just they're really perfect, work. aren't yeah. they? No, so, totally. you know, in and out the shower block. Yeah. Like say in and off the beach. Yeah, no. Even it's, if it's uh, pitting down and muddy, you can still wear them because you can just swill so them you've off. You've never done France then. Never done a broad yet with a camper no. with a caravan. I, I, honestly, if you've got a I slight bit about you, you know, no, because I tell you what, once you get over there, it's oh, so easy. I can imagine. Uh, it's it's well, we just were, incredible. We were once. We went to. I can't think what part of Spain it was, but it was this lovely part of Spain. And it was um, we were stopping in this, like, um, sort of hotel kind of complex but it was like self-catering apartments okay and um and like you looked across as you came out when you came out the front door you looked across at this amazing like campsite and we went in there one night because they had like they had live music on and oh. they had a bit of a bar and that so we, we nipped across the road and had a look in oh, what a diff I, I was so jealous i was in a pretty <laughs> you know a proper brick built building yeah, yeah, yeah. with proper facilities but I was jealous about everybody else in their caravan. This, uh, this, you wanted, you all, wanted to be under a yeah, tarpaulin yeah, or an awning. Yeah, and, but, and they were all just touring vans like this. Yeah. But they'd got it. I don't know whether they had them there permanent or just set them up. You know, like some people have them they permanent, go for don't they? Winter or, season or something, yeah, don't know, wherever they are. Uh, or some people have them just for the summer, don't they? Because yeah. you can do it in this country, can't you? You just mm -hmm. don't pay for a pitch. And um, But it was instead of just an awning, there was an awning plus another awning attached and then obviously it must have been the mates that were opposite because they've got this fantastic long wooden table between the two vans yeah because in the med eating is like a big thing it's a big family occasion yeah, yeah, they, don't yeah. just, they don't just quickly grab some and go yeah you know they'll sit down they'll have breakfast lunch and dinner together I'm they? the opposite on the so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you could tell it was this this kind of vibe but then there was Lovely. like built-in barbecues that were already in part of the the facility of they, the, they had the campsite setup, right didn't they? you know it was unbelievable and you thought oh, there uh, i am in this bloody posh complex thing. yeah <laughs> you, you, want this, you want to be any sort of yeah. ad hoc yeah. not together and it was of. great because i love that sort of thing you know just yeah. people making their own bits and bobs and you yeah. know making something their own and it was almost like a like, permanent festival thing going yeah on, yeah then. and that's what it was like. and they had all these kind of like festoon lights going on oh, and it was lovely. just and it was because you know you, you go from like a, a well lit area to almost like pitch black in a, in yeah, a yeah. split second, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Unless you got your torch with you, and it was uh, it was just like that. But it was just this amazing. Mm -hmm. I even missed like going to the toilet block and having a <laughs> and washing your stuff up in the sinks and that. Put your <laughs> loo roll under your arm. Yeah, off we go. Because <laughs> that's one of the things in France, uh, one of the sort of novelties. They don't a lot of them don't have toilet paper, so you're sort of like, all oh, right. You haven't just got newspaper stuffed under your arm. You've got, you got bloody <laughs> bog roll. They're like, oh, hey. <laughs> You know where you're going. And then the mixed as well, which takes a bit of getting used to, and you're having oh, a as well. toilet next when to you're it. Having a, 
Yeah. We didn't matter who you sat next to. <laughs> the showers aren't never mixed, but uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the, the toilets, you don't know who you're going to be sat next to. So, right. uh, Someone grunting and groaning, and this a beautiful brunette. I know, honestly, <laughs> it's, it's madness. You know, I don't feel so bad now. But uh, no, it's... It takes a little bit yeah. of those British sort of... Yeah, I that's know, sort of... I'm going to say stuck up, but no. you know what I mean? That's, yeah, it's, it's sort of like... Uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to it, but once after a few days, I, yeah. go, I don't care. Win in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> Not bothered me now. Uh, it leads on very nicely to, to festival toilets. Oh. <laughs> Am I right in thinking you were at Donington the same year I was at one of them? Were you uh, yes, uh, that was 87. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I nearly said 90. Why the hell would I say 90? <laughs> 87. 87. It was 87. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? So that was the year, uh, was that the... Was that the year when then two guys got... It was, and I, I saw... I always say I saw them get pulled out, but to be fair, they, they pulled about a dozen. Yeah. But I'm sure they all looked very poorly. Yeah. So I think yeah. we, we, I mean, we were close enough to saying it, it was frightening. Was mental, it right? was mental. It was proper, that was proper a, frightening. That was the scare Of all the gigs and concerts I've ever been to, mm. that was the scariest one, because you literally couldn't move, could you? You were kind of like... No. You were sandwiched like that, weren't you? And it was you just madness. went with the crowd. And if you went down, oh. there was... I was surprised that went down, because it was that... Sardini packed, wasn't it? You yeah, it was on, I mean, I but was 16 and pissed, probably. Yeah. Are, but I, I remember, like, when we come down off of the road, coming down to yeah. it, it, it was like bloody, I don't know, there was fox hat on bonnets sticking out of the sunroof, <laughs> licking out the windows, and it was like, you know, it was like that, that bus off convoy, you know, yeah. all the hippies <laughs> hanging out of it. And I'm like, yeah. 16 year old from Cumbria, like, oh. oh. <laughs> so yeah, it, it, oh, it was just it's mad. great though, isn't it? I mean, oh. and nowadays it's it's called download nowadays. Mm, I believe. Like, I think it's lost its its oh. its edge. I mean, that year in particular, I think after that year it became ticket only because up till then, right, you could pay on the door so that you could buy tickets in advance. Oh, I didn't know that. I just presumed it was all no, oh. but you could still pay on the day, and right. it was such a lineup, wasn't it? Then so there was like. Guns and Roses that had just kind of got massive. That's, that's and, why I you know, went. So me and you were both in the Paradise City video then, aren't we? Yeah, well, hopefully there's third, bits of it there, yeah. Third from the front, and I'm the... You'd never okay. recognise me, though. I'd I'd be, be seen with hair. would <laughs> have hair like this. <laughs> hair like this. Or did you have a mullet back then? Or a bit of both? Uh, a bit of both. Oh, yeah. uh, oh, that's a different story altogether. <laughs> I, used to, I used to love... Straight hair, but I didn't have it. I had this right. like wave. Yeah, I think they call it a ducktail. My father had ducktails, and I inherited it. So I used to back up to mother's ironing board, and she'd get a brown paper bag and iron my hair. <laughs> so it was straight. That's the only way because there was no straightener. Yeah, straight, there was just crimpers. There maybe was crimpers, but I didn't want that. Yeah, you didn't want crimped hair. You then you'd have a rocker with crimped hair. Yeah. Oh. You were a rocker. <laughs> so no, so I used to back up and she'd iron it for us. Yeah, mum, iron your hair for me. I'm just going out. So that was, uh, so yeah. I mean, kids nowadays, they wouldn't get that, would they? No. And it was the same with our our kind of uniform, so to speak. (laughs) You know, it was like jeans, cut, and you'd cut the holes in them yourself, wouldn't Mm. you? Because you couldn't buy cut cut jeans. It was just a thing. A pair of boots or trainers or... um, Baseball boots sort of thing. Did you have a Converse back then? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then a a T-shirt, a band T-shirt, wasn't it? Leather jacket... Mm. Cut off denim. Cut off denim. And you'd either get, you'd either have someone's mum who was really good at embroidery that would yeah. embroider, I don't know, Saxon or Kiss or like ACDC on the back of yeah, your yeah. thing. And then you'd have a, a million patches that you yeah, found. Yeah, all the little ones. Yeah, Because right? yeah. yeah. you used to get a big, those big pa- you used back to get patches a big one that, that would fill your over. shoulders, wouldn't yeah, it? You know? yeah. Like, oh, well, have that. It just yeah. fills a multitude. And it would be like, I don't know, Number of the Beast, wouldn't it? Or yeah, something? Well, or, yeah. Or, Oh, usually, an, usually an album cover, wasn't it? Because I mean, I've got, I've got bloody records. I went up onto the loft and I found them, and I can't even play them. And where what, half of them have gone, I don't know. But uh, you know, you think some of the well, I suppose swearing's maybe not as bad now, but back then, but like, like wasp had that like like a beast, didn't yeah, they? Yeah. What's up? Well, in the charts <laughs> this week. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just say that again. Because because when did you when did your kind of love affair for that? style of music oh but god what I, was the pivotal I, moment do you think that i don't know i, 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 I can't it, put a finger on it honestly because i because did you flirt with other the mod revival in the 80s yeah, was yeah. earlier for me so i yeah. had that 
Uh, I remember going like on the trip with Skill down to London, the Carnaby Street, and I got that bar. So you went to like the Mecca. The Boating yeah. Blazer, the Stair Press. Because I bet then, because I think there's maybe one or two shops. Last time I went down to London. Yeah, I can't remember what it was, was called. One now. Left, there was one proper sort of mod shop. Yeah. That kind of had. But even that seemed a bit plasticky compared to. Yeah. Probably what it was. There was there was a shop that everybody even had, I think, a bloody. Like a. a like a catalogue and you could order stuff oh, as well. Wicked. You know, like John Moore's there, yeah, but it yeah, can't yeah, be yeah, street killed John yeah. Moore's. And then there was a spot in Newcastle as well. I went over. There was a shop there once uh, that sold the mod stuff, but you know, the boating shoes, uh, bowling shoes. Yeah, with yeah, the yeah. Three different stripes and your stair press. And so you were a proper jam. Oh, yeah, no, jam absolutely. God. And that and uh, But, and then how I turned from that almost. Because I was never into motorbikes, or I, I right. never. Have you never had a bike? That scared the shit out of me. Really? My mother was a nurse in the sixties in right. Preston. Yeah. Right in the middle of the originals. Yeah. And uh, she just drummed that idea. And you know what? I've had mates. We'd. Uh, I remember whizzing up and down here once. My mate lived just across the road. Yeah. I had a guy, no helmet and nothing, and I shit me bloody cell. Was it one yeah. up three down or something? Yeah, that yeah. bloody thing went with it. And this guy <laughs> come and knocked on the door and told us off because his parents were out and he was an off duty copper. <laughs> and he's telling us off about riding up and down on bikes. Yeah. Yeah, but no, they scared the crap out of me. I've well, never been good with bikes. Not. I love push bikes. Yeah, that, but yeah, I, but anything with anything an engine. Mo- anything mo- I'm a bit of a, it's not your. No, not your thing. Not at all. So what? what how? I, but the rock music. I'm not quite sure how it came about. But I just and but I still it got you. It, oh yeah, it got you. But I, I still, you know, if you look at me playlist now, it's still got the old mod yeah, stuff yeah, as well. Yeah. Like quite the oh, feeling that. Yeah. I mean, you know, what's you, your What a film. Oh, fantastic! But you know, when I've gone crazy to my generation, yeah, oh, yeah. Where, where does like. How does that define that as mod to rock? Yes, yeah. It's like, well, it, 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 it pigeonholes them. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, and you listen to, I mean, Quadrophenia is one of my favourite And they're albums. shaking their heads and all yeah, the mods, yeah, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> and it's kind of like, because I watched Quadrophenia again while I was off. Ah, good. And it was like, it's so kind of rocky, a mm. lot of the album, isn't it? You know, it's not, oh, it's, it's not like the small faces or no. sort of, 60s mod music is it you know like the yardbirds yeah. it's it's more well i know it was made in 79 but it's more of a yeah but even some of the because they play green onions on there yeah. don't they and MG, yeah, yeah and it's kind of like oh it's such a it's classic such a i made my daughter watch it because it, i think it's such a yeah almost like a coming of age stroke yeah great youth culture youth tribal kind of film isn't it and yeah. i think nowadays that's sadly lacking in it in, yeah in, in, you know the, the Buff scene when he meets Ray yeah, Winston there, yeah. you know, and the, the, the ex mates from school, aren't they? Yeah, so yeah. One had yeah. gone to army. Yeah, he got in the army, and then he, he found out he was a rocker. rocker, and it was like, oh. <laughs> but but you see, oh, <laughs> but it was it was weird, innit? it? It's, I, I, I don't think it would have been perhaps as bad as that, but you, you never know how much the media's up scale thing. Yeah, they've got do to you? sort of make it look but, a bit more but dramatic. It did, yeah, but it is nice, you know, that yeah. in the film, it's it's. No, so well, like, like, but the rocket stayed with us, um, and now I've I'm so, oh, I don't even know if I dare say it. I've, I've sort of drifted to country, country western, and uh, more that sort of more. That's gone very rocky though, isn't it? Yeah, but I, I like, I I like this new country that they because I'm just learning. Yeah. This and uh, but when I found out this new country, it could be from the nineties. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know how new it is like, but, but so, so yeah, I, I've I've been watching this and. Uh, and some of that's yet yeah, quite rocky, but yeah. then I have found I, I struggle to find new music for myself. But then sometimes I do. I, a friend of mine recently sort of last couple of years, like the Five Finger Death Punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I like a few of them because they, they've got. There was a really nice country song they did called Blue on Black. Yes, I've, and yeah, I've seen the May video. Plays, oh, yeah, plays a, that's got a country kind of twang to yeah, it, no, it, but it yeah. and then it kind of comes in with the, this is what i brought down on here because i was thinking i, I bloody forget names so and then going back to the rock there was like the, the blackstone cherry i like it yeah because yeah. that's re- kind of rocky and yeah yeah the thing in and uh, a friend of mine also put me onto molly hatchet so yeah. they're quite that's, oh. that's like a uh did they call them like a florida sort of rockabilly rocking yeah yeah thingy? yeah oh but it's like because you on spotify or do you yeah. listen on because i always put whenever i'm kind of I'll put a playlist because you know it creates playlists it, for you. My army boy said press this button and yeah, it'll and throw it, an old song in there. Yeah, and it does it, doesn't it? So and then sometimes someone will catch your ear and you think, oh, what's that? Yeah. So you go and have a listen. You go and have a look. Oh, I like that. So then you go on to their, this is, whoever. Yeah. 
you know, Blackstone Cherry or whatever. But then there's like another thing saying Blackstone Cherry Radio, isn't there? And then you've got kind of artists and songs that, that kind you of may like similar. Yeah, yeah. And then you go down again and it says fans also like, and then there's usually about half a dozen other. It's almost like YouTube for music, isn't it? Yeah, you just yeah. you down the worm all the way you go. You think, oh, and a lot of it with me is the image. So if they look all right. kind of how I expect them to look, I'm like, oh, click on them, they look all right. And then, but sometimes you sadly let down. <laughs> you oh, they look a lot better than the sound. Mine's just how, how they sound. I couldn't give them two so hoots how they look. No, it's just literally. I mean, sometimes I end up watching clips on social media. I was watching something the other day. This guy was backing this truck in, in like a loading bay. Yeah. And it, it was like really bang on. It was spot on. And the music was playing. It's called We Ride. Yeah. And it's just country and western bloody yeah. thing. I thought that's good. So the next thing you <laughs> yeah, you click. I'm it. putting it on, and then yeah. and then that opens up a whole. Well, I because I listen to Planet Rock when I'm sort of in the car going to and from work. And yeah, stuff. yeah. I, don't I always listen to Spotify in the house or yeah. YouTube, but in the in the car I always have Planet Rock on. And years ago they they got me into a band called the Cadillac Three. If you remember. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, I would have never got into them. No. But aren't they? This country, yeah. rocky vibe, and it's unbelievable. No, you know, I, I go, I want to go and see them. They're that, yeah, kind of that good. It's no, it's, like, uh, it's, it's funny don't... how you kind of, you know, if someone had told you the same again thirty years ago, you're going to be listening to country music. You'd be like, ah, yeah, I, well, I mean, you know, these good friends of mine. I said they go on holiday to France with that. You know, they've kind of liked that sort of music for years now. And take the piss, yeah. this out there, and they was laughing last. Yeah. Year. It's like, yeah. I well, I'm going to go. There's a band coming on at the old fire station. Oh, yeah. Hello. They're called Hazy Dixie. Oh, yeah. No, so I've, they do I've, kind yeah. of a lot of covers of. They're like a bluegrass band, but yeah. they do a lot of covers of. Uh, I think I've seen them. All sorts, you know, Nirvana, Motorhead, Good yeah, Man, You good name night. it, they do it. They do a really good ACDC one. And uh, that's another thing you'll get lost on on YouTube. You go, oh, that'll be funny. Uh, and then you watch it, and then you. Down a worm out. Yeah, you're North gone. Thoughts, aren't you? Gone. It's, 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 Hours of just disappearing and I just disappeared away forever. Never to return. Your wife will go shopping and come back and he's still <laughs> just still. And you what, get that look at Yeah, what have you been doing? Uh, nothing. Or, uh, <laughs> I try, well, I've done the recycling. <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought I thought I'm on shift <laughs> <I'm untrifled. laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. But no, I honestly God. Uh, Music and bands music and oh, is it's ace, though, it? It's just like, yeah, it, it can it can get you. You know, it takes you. Music for me is oh, the be all and end all. Probably sounds a bit too extreme, but you know what I mean. It is. It's a massive, massive yeah. part of my life yeah. because it can like it can take you right up into the stratosphere, can't it? Yeah. And then it can just bring you <laughs> right down. <laughs> right it's down, like yeah. really, you know, no, it's, it it's... gives you goosebumps. It makes you cry. It's unbelievable. No, it, I, I just find myself going safer here yeah, i find myself going back music wise yeah because yeah. forwards. forwards i do go forwards yeah. slightly or maybe something's been out 10 years or so before yeah, yeah. i'll get but i end up going backwards you know like i don't know I, uh, the rolling stones i've recently just been dabbling with and uh, the eagles and yeah you know i want some uh, yeah i knew i knew them obviously yeah, yeah. you'd have to be daft not to but you just I mean, that Rolling Stones, my boy, who was really into his music, yeah, he was like, he thought the Rolling Stones' latest album had sold out and it was a pile of pop and everything. And I thought, well, it's, it's, I quite like it, I really like it, yeah, to be yeah, honest. Yeah. So yeah. it's funny how you get two different takes on, because he'll have a conversation with you and he'll know more well, about bloody back then era. than I do. Yeah, and you lived through it. Frightening. <laughs> but uh, It's funny when you talk about going back. I mean, I got into, I've been into Johnny Cash for quite a while, but oh, yeah. I was late to the party. You know, yeah, yeah. But only because when Johnny Cash was kind of famous, he yeah, because he went off during the sort of night. Yeah, he went off a bit, didn't he? he went off the radio. Yeah, his troubles, I think. Yeah, yeah. But you know, when he was kind of like not his early days when he was kind of like Ring of Fire, those yeah. sort of fifties. But you know, in the sort of seventies and that, and he had his own TV show in America and that. Yeah, he just wouldn't been a couple of young rockers you wouldn't have been into no. johnny cash no. you know, it would not have been cool but then when you listen back to yeah. his back catalogue it's like oh my god he was like a genius you know it's, it's you know, surprising it's just... and what got me into that was i watched um walk the line oh right. it's the film with yeah, Joaquin yeah. phoenix plays plays him. That's him i mean he's a phenomenal actor anyway yeah, he's isn't very it? good um but then it was like man what a life this guy's had and it's like 
maybe if it hadn't been such a good actor portraying him, it wouldn't have resonated as much. Yeah. But the fact that it was it's so well acted and such a brilliant film, and it was kind of like, whoa. And then it made me want to listen to more Johnny Clash's music. And then he did that final kind of album when his wife June died, and it was mm. like that... Um, I can't remember the name of the album, but there was a few kind of classic songs that he'd done. I think one was a Nine Inch Nails song, Heard. wasn't it? Yeah. It's good, um, isn't it? Yeah. And I it's just like that video. It's really... proper goosebumps. Yeah, no, it is, isn't it? And it's like, oh, my God. But Such and, a... And it's like, it's like he knew yeah. he was he was going to die and he, this was his last yeah, le no, leading legacy it, to the world. It's just surprising was... what you, you sort of go back to or you, you know, somebody saying, I told you so. Yeah, you know, you, yeah. I was watching to the day. Is it? Uh, oh, Wichita Lyman, Is it Glen Campbell? Yeah, it is. Yeah. And uh, I was. I was I, why would I be watching that? You know. Yeah, I it, no. Yeah. And it was a live session for BBC Two for, for like Piano Room or something. Yeah. It was. And he's there's a, but when he does it live, there's this really good solo in the middle yeah. of the guitar. And, wow. <laughs> yeah. And this guy looked about eighty, <laughs> and he was as good as I was like. And it's like all back and then, then we wouldn't have give it. Oh, uh, no chance. Man, and it, would you? But. Another thing I'm a sucker for is like harmonies. Yeah. You get a bit like with country, you see. Yeah. You get yeah. three or four different voices, but they're all, they're all in harmony. Yeah. And they're all singing away. And I, I just melt. Yeah. I just love it. Yeah. I'm like, oh my but that's God. That's with music, and it? it's like, it just takes you to another place yeah. completely. It's no, unbelievable. It's, it's, it's not. It's isn't it? <laughs> I just love so. it. I, you know, like I say, I watch a lot of YouTube, and they'll use stuff on clips and this, that, and yeah. the other. And then yeah. they like, oh. So I'll, if I don't, if it's not on the info, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll find you somehow. Find it, yeah. Get to the That's Spotify. what I like about modern phones now, because sometimes we'll have something on, in on, on telly, and now there'll, there'll be like a. I've noticed a lot of what a lot of kind of TV shows are doing now, especially sort of mm, things I've been watching that have been a bit sort of out there, but they've had the soundtrack, they've had new versions of old songs oh i like the remix like, and they've slowed them down yeah or, or tweaked them a lot they've yeah. made them their own yeah and you're kind of listening to it you think i know this and then you look on your phone and your phone's got this capability of yeah of ch telling you what's on haven't they it's like yeah. and it and i look at it so bloody hell so then i go straight to spotify see uh, see that artist yeah. and then you put that track and then on you, the, you're going from there yeah, and you're finding it's, it aren't it's you? absolutely so yeah. technology's it it's works that way, pace, doesn't it? Absolutely. In, in, you know, so I mean, many ways. like your Stranger Things, eh? You know, with all the sound, uh, you know, yeah. the soundtracks yeah. after the bloody yeah, show, isn't it? Yeah. You know, like, I think that was that's been that's created a, a new sort of generation of little rockers. Hasn't yeah, it? absolutely. I noticed because um, stood in town, and you, you know, you, you notice everything, and I noticed after the last sort of season of Stranger Things, there was a lot more sort of kids that were growing their hair out. And they got the little cut off because they call them battle vests now, you know. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, so the cut off that we just wore with the with the patches uh, on that's now known as a battle vest. <laughs> so they've all got like bands, uh, now, you know, little the brand new patches on that. So uh, you want to see them at like three o'clock on a Saturday morning and the the demi gorgons gone yam. <laughs> <laughs> but it was great, Stranger Things, wasn't it? Oh no, I absolutely yeah, love that. I, I mean, is it for kids? I don't know. <laughs> it was great. They got oh. the demons and that was spot yeah. on, weren't they? Yeah, and, no, and, the, and yeah. the music and the, 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 and the whole sort the of tweak that, that and, era. They got it. Yeah, kind oh, of it's, spot it's, on. So, yeah, yeah. And you they, could start really, and it was so well done, wasn't yeah, it? You know? Yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, no, I, I do enjoy when you see some retro stuff with yeah. that, like you know. If it's, it's done right, it's yeah. No, it's got to be. It's, yeah, but it's, it's absolutely awesome. No, it's, it's a hell of a thing. It's good. It's good. Yeah. So, what's next? Oh, what music wise? Yeah, oh, yeah. I don't or, know. It'd be more country you, western, probably. I don't, I don't do you, know. Do, do you get uh, to any more gigs or not? Or... Uh, we, I've done it over the recent years. I've done more than. Uh, we, we, I saw Stereophonics. Yeah. I've done the Eagles. Uh, oh, <laughs> like Wanna See, you know, the I was festival. How do you do, if you do Kendall Calling or Wanna See? I've never done Kendall Calling. I did. So I, I don't. I would never dismiss it. My boys going this year, yeah. like. But I was just. You don't know who you're getting, do you? Till no, there's like, never been anyone on the lineup that has warranted the cost of a ticket for me. No, I, I must admit. I mean, I'm happy for it. And it yeah. brings, you know, keep yeah. it going. It doesn't yeah. offend me a little bit for me personally. And then, you know, I, I think we've done every one I see there was or has been, apart Even from when the they, down. they went to the first one down there. Yeah. yeah. And then we've been to every one up here. And uh, this year we're not going. Uh, I think last year. We'll... Do you normally take the caravan? 
Yeah. Do you? Yeah, we, we leave it on site. Yeah. I don't put any awning up, I don't. No. Uh, and then just catch We the just bush. take little, um, what do you call them? Not, they're not awnings. The little... A little gazebo. We gazebo, I think. Yeah. We'll have one of them. Yeah. Put it in between the two vans. Have a little, like, bit like your Spanish thing earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All these set up with some, sometimes fairy lights come out. Yeah. And then, because uh, my birthday lands on that weekend. Right. So I normally get rat ass and have a disc yeah. boogie yeah, around. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, this year, we're, we're, that's when we're in France. So we're trying to avoiding not want to see, but like uh, exams and stuff. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, and yeah. This, that, and the other. So uh, we're going to miss it this year. But. You know, that must be ten or ten years at least. We've been, been that it's, long it's, it's today. It's been a few. Wow. I, I can't say for sure, but I bet it's a few. Yeah. I mean, every, I know a lot of people dis um, kind of tribute acts and that, oh, yeah. but I mean, they are what they are. And if a band is either dead or very unlikely to ever yeah. reform, or even if they were still going, play Penrith for Carlisle, yeah. which is you know they're yeah, that yeah. big. Why not? You know what I mean? Because yeah. you're getting. I've since so many like great bands at the, at the brickyard yeah yeah so since i stopped drinking it, i kind of got out i started to get out a lot more because when i used to drink the main function of going out wasn't necessarily to see the band or no it was just to get pissed so it was just like now i don't do that now i've seen so many things that i wouldn't have seen yeah well fair and, play to you. and it's kind of opened up a lot a lot more for yeah. me so and I've got into so many other bands and styles of music by going and seeing stuff at the Brickyard. I mean, the Brickyard is, oh, it's an awesome venue. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever been. I've, I've been once. Have you? Yeah, so. Oh, I love it there. It's, so yeah. I think I'm going next week. There's a there's a kind of fundraiser thing on for a guy that I'm hoping to get on the show, actually. He's oh, got a new please. studio opening oh, up. Good. So I'm hoping to get him on. Dom, if you're watching or listening, you're going to be sitting there soon, mate. <laughs> so, but yeah, so... Um, and I've seen a lot of tribute acts there. And like the ones I saw was a corn tribute act and they were oh, um they were I think with slipknot as well as like a corn slipknot. You tend to find that there's two bands on yeah. and they're both of a similar sort of genre. Yeah. And they do tend to intersperse. So I suppose maybe if they just do the hits they need to fill a yeah, a while, yeah, don't they? Yeah. So what happens is usually maybe the kind of interact yeah. in that respect so i knew what to expect with slipknot and but i'd never really been in sort of heard a lot of corn or yeah. didn't know a lot about them and i was like blown away by this tribute acts i mean yeah. they, the good thing is about tribute acts you know that they're gonna play the songs note for note Absolutely. because you know because yeah. anyone can the only thing that might let them down would be the front man because yeah. usually most most front men are iconic. They're aren't pretty they? unique, front, yeah, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. You know, so any lead singer is unique to that. They've got their own yeah. unique style and voice. And some I've been to see, and they've tried too hard to be, and it's it's almost been like, and tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Axel Rose. I hate, <laughs> it, I hate it when they start talking in the American accent. Oh, oh, when they're from Birmingham, oh, as I'm like, oh, yeah. just let it go, pal. Yeah. Just I sing. Watched the, I watched the Black Sabbath one. <laughs> And he tried to be like Ozzy. Now I could be like, I could be like Ozzy if I wanted to. But I could put it on. But <laughs> he was from bloody Wigan or somewhere. <laughs> and he was trying to say like, he's all all right. <laughs> and then he slipped again. And then something happened. And you your point. <laughs> and he kept saying Sharon, Sharon. <laughs> and it's just like oh, he's got the Osbournes, mate. You're supposed to be a yeah, just like up and singer. But I mean that. And he was when he was singing, he was all right. Yeah. It was that in between. Bit. He needed to get his his act a little bit. There's this one that guys I want to say. He does Bon Jovi. I I I'd, I'd, I'd never get sick of hitting him. To be honest, really? I wish he just shut up. Just say he's terrible just at the singing. Sing. To be honest, but when he starts, okay, Miami, we're gonna really <laughs> rock. Sorry, it's want to see oh, uh, whatever he is. I'm like, well, you just no, it's cringe, no, it? just shut up. It's cringe. Well, the, the reason I got to talking about this was because I went to see the Kiss tribute act at the Brickyard. Ah. And it was a shame, right, because there wasn't that many people in there. So yeah. if the Brickyard's full and, bang, and sold yeah. out, no matter who's on, it's a bouncing night. It's yeah. unbelievable. The atmosphere's electric. But if there's only a handful of people in there, you kind of feel sorry for the acts. And I've seen quite a few acts mm. that there hasn't been as oh, many as there them. should be, perhaps. Yeah. So anyway, Kiss came on, comes on, 
all the full on yeah, yeah. kiss alive it was just exactly that gene simmons they must have spent a bomb and that they've done i think they headlined last year didn't they well just, that, and there's been a kiss the tribute because i've got a picture same. of my kids well it's the same, it's Boots same. Are, yeah. Everything. yeah it's exactly the same band and he was they were good they could play and it was all brilliant but i thought they're more of a an outdoor Wanna see type? Act. Yeah, okay, yeah. Do you know what I mean? More of a I festival thought, thing yeah, rather than because the stage would have been bigger. They could have, and but he was again giving it the the um, Paul Stanley vibes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, come out, yeah. And it's like, are you talking to me? And then ah. I was like, oh man, what am I doing? <laughs> so, and then, but then I just kind of just, yeah, I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna enjoy it. Just let you, it go. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy yeah. it for what it is, and enjoy their musicianship. No, with so, some some crackers, like I mean, you know, like well, the. Uh, Livewire, the ACDC, have yeah. you ever seen them? No, no, there's quite a few ACDC ones. Yeah, they... but Livewire, I, mean, I remember once years ago there was a Penrith band. Yeah. I can't even remember what they call. called. But we ended up on a bus going from Penrith to work into Carnegie Hall, they called it. And we went in there and they were supporting this Livewire. Live wire. Well, this would be 20, I don't know, a long time right. ago. And uh, Livewire, they had two singers to do. Bon Scott oh, and right, bloody right. Brian Johnson. Oh, I think they're still going there. Yeah, yeah. So there's still a thing that they do want to see quite regular. Yeah. And uh, all those other ACDC ones, but they're, they're really, really good. Yeah. Eh? Really good. Like now, the guitarist, you wouldn't even know he wasn't him. Like, he's, really? Oh, really good. Just dressed really in a school good. uniform and everything. All of that, and yeah. doing a little skip along. Really? Oh, the rock and like say, Really good. The, the, the first ever act that I went to see at the Brickyard that was a tribute act was the Merillion one. Oh, all right. And they're called Still Marillion, and I swear they are amazing. Yeah. And I thought, because uh, I've seen Fish at, um, at the Brickyard years right. ago when he kind of, when he was in limbo between yeah, yeah. kind of leaving Marillion and doing yeah. his own thing. And that was ace because you'd gone from like seeing him at the NEC in Marillion to then literally as close as we yeah, are yeah, now. Yeah. And he was just sitting on the edge of the stage swigging wine out of the bottle. Carlo, was, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Giving it loads of juice of all the, all the, all the, Border Reavers. <laughs> so, but anyway, he, he, um, this still Marillion band, there were guys, they were all kind of our age and a bit older. Yeah, yeah. And you could tell they were diehard Marillion fans. And the guy, and they were all from Scotland as well. And the guy, the lead singer, even though his voice was knackered for that night, and and one of the other guys had to take the, the singing role over, oh. but he did try. Yeah, yeah. But he didn't, you knew that if he was on point, he wouldn't he wasn't trying to sing like fish yeah he was kind of singing in a in a way that was relevant to the songs uh -huh. but he wasn't trying to mimic but he had his he had his um his nuances and his his kind of ways oh, right, you know, yeah, yeah. Fish, all his uh, mannerisms yeah, yeah. Right. so he, you could tell he obviously just studied him he's a big fan of him yeah but he wasn't trying to emulate him exactly yeah and, oh. and i thought and me and Lynn went and it was just like whoa what a absolutely excellent kind of gave me a newfound respect for like tribute yeah. acts and then every time now i've seen that many at the brickyard that if it's a band that, you, that i want to see yeah you know, i won't just come and see like this weekend just gone there was um pulped and i like the, the play on names yeah they're quite good some of them aren't they and I th and uh, so it was pulp and i think it was someone else from that era one of them of the brit poppy bands right, around right. at that time and um but that was never my cup of tea, so no. I wasn't going to go there. Oh, we so. went once, there was a Pete Love. Right. And uh, oh, he was awesome. He, he, he was lovely. Oh, yeah, honest. <laughs> and he says, have any of you lot, he was in this American so <laughs> Yeah. Have any of you lot seen me and Benny Dorm on the tours and that? And a few folk go, hey, does any of you lot know where I'm from? And they went, yeah, Glasgow. He says, right. <laughs> so he stopped <laughs> talking. He <laughs> <We> just went, <laughs> did you? Did it? He went straight. Like, he, he could sing. Brilliant. Could but, he? And he stopped. He, like I say, he had this joke. He put on the accent and then he, he went, oh, yes, sod this. If you, half of you lot have seen me in Benny Dorm, <laughs> you'll know I'm from Glasgow. And he just spoke Scottish ever since. It was fab. <laughs> But he was really good uh, at what he did. Yeah. Pete Loaf, like. Pete Loaf. <laughs> Cause did, have you ever seen Meat Loaf proper? I haven't. Had you not? I've no. I've seen him a couple of times and uh, it was like... Again, I, never one that really it, got me, but yeah, it, now it, I it, can sort of... You see, at the time, right, I remember everyone raving about Bad Out of Hell. Mm. And it was like, and I, I loved the album cover. I thought the album cover yeah, was amazing. Yeah, it was, yeah. But the song, it, was, it wasn't heavy enough for me. Yeah. I've always been... Because I've always liked the heavier sort of stuff, yeah. so... I've always been like, I was, as soon as Thrash emerged, I was right in there, <laughs> right stuck in the middle of the mosh pit. But 
prior to that it was kind of motorhead -y, saxon yeah you know the typical new oh, album saxon bands. i've got a double album of theirs i think part of it's studio and part of it's live and uh, what the heck just yeah awesome they? that oh. was a steel album was oh. just classic wasn't it i just i just love it a bit it's like, like the, the music you know this sort of yeah. the, the, yeah. the really yeah, flashy yeah. stuff yeah. you think whatever is it speed rocker yeah. i think the scandinavians uh, like a bit yeah. of that it's yeah. lost on me all the black metal and oh, I, 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 I don't even know what the term on is yeah it's gone i mean that was that uh oh what's that dragon force i don't even know what do you remember that one there uh, Oh. The, 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 the band or the Dragon the, the Force Z? The band's called Dragon Force. Right. Oh, is it the song? Not the cartoon, Dragon Force Z. Oh, no, I didn't even no. know there was one. <laughs> I think it's a kid's show. Oh, no. <laughs> this is a band, is it? Dragon, Dragon Force. Force. It was on Guitar Come Hero. On. Oh, it's just yeah, it will be. about seven minutes yeah. long. Yeah. Oh, no, that's a good tune, but I, I can't oh. remember what the hell they call it. But I do like, I'll, I'll flirt between all sorts of genres of, oh. of kind of metal. Some I like, some I don't. Mm. But I watched. Um, youtube again this um this guy had put this thing up all the genres of metal and it kind of went through them all because it's that man there's about a hundred different genres of oh, yeah. you know when we were kids it was just every rocker and every metal wasn't yeah it, it was just uh, yeah it was just like yeah, no. and then i suppose then mid 80s it kind of went that's when the thrush scene kicked in didn't it so then there was the, so, so it went to like anthrax the big four anthrax slayer megadeth and metallica yeah. and then at the same time the Bon Jovi hair metally type and, oh, yeah, and poison and, and poison and, and all that. Motley Crue, yeah, guessing. yeah. So there was two different kind of camps there, yeah, yeah. even in the metal. But that was basically your lot, wasn't it? Yeah, there, there was, was no, no, there wasn't much. There was nothing else. Then kind of Guns N' Roses came and they kind of took it back again. Then grunge started, didn't it? So yeah. then, and then kind of the, the Norwegians started the old black metal and uh, what's that sort of death metal kind of scene and then then it's just gone mental I, there's I, even something called math metal now you know oh. so then it's kind of like this technical um metal and sometimes it can just be one person playing numerous instruments okay and it's just like this virtual so kind of songs of right. insanity <laughs> <laughs> i think you're gonna have a bit about you know, <laughs> so, but there's so many like there's there's folk metal there's Oh, there's power metal. There's a uh, yeah. for me too. No, I, 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 I must admit, I, I, you can sort of almost pigeonhole it too much and make it too Yeah, yeah I think that's what they've done. And they think uh, if some people get so anal about it. Uh, yeah, there's, there is you know, that too, just isn't there? Like, no, just, you I, know what? If you enjoy it, fair play to you. Yeah, yeah no, you it's, know, it's, you know, just listen to Bands songs. and rock, and it's all, it all makes music in the end, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. And you have a love it or you hate it. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. For sure. So, but yeah. Well, I think that has been a fabulous episode, mate. We've covered some I think stuff we've covered there. Some stuff. So, <laughs> is there anything more you wanted to say about your? Little you know what? No, I, I came prepared. You so, can, you um, got everything in. If anybody feels like they want to get in touch or part join or, yeah. uh, you, like you say, you, you put the links yeah, on. Yeah. Get in touch and, uh, like I say, just. As and when you want, but I'm just trying to. My, originally, my idea was I thought I'd get a castle town, a scores, a pit girl, a, and you still might. Well, you never know. You never know. That, that's my that's my ultimate sort of dream or whatever. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. what I was aiming for. And I thought it would be a bit easier than it has been. <laughs> yeah, but I suppose but, it's uh, you haven't yeah. particularly been pushing it. No, I suppose you know not. I mean? I suppose. So. Every opportunity I get to ever speak, even at these uh, group picks and that, I always yeah. mention. I try and. But uh, I've actually got a town head now, mother-in-law. She's quite good up that yeah. way. She's like a loud demon I mean, now. Whoever's watching this or listening to this, they might contact you. And say, you oh, know, yeah, no, I'd, absolutely. I'd see being the, the scores. Sort of it, it can or, be anywhere yeah. and as little. Uh, like I say, uh, I've got the equipment because uh, work have been very good. They, sort of, they sponsor locally rather than nationally, yeah. even on a national firm. So... I've, they're very good with us so right. I've got all this kit and uh, I don't give it out willy nilly but yeah, you know yeah, yeah. if anybody's yeah. genuine yeah. Yeah. and uh, like well, I can't I, imagine well, <laughs> well, well, I it suppose a hoop. <laughs> oh, well, a hoop and a free <laughs> free little <laughs> claw thing <laughs> <laughs> I drop the remote I don't even have to get up <laughs> so yeah but uh, but yeah so I like to say I, I normally I've, I've you know I've had the Duke of Edinburgh awards folks and stuff and I've, I've done all sorts 
Uh, but yeah, so, so it'd be good. this would be good a good sort of absolutely get it out there, yeah. You know, and, 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 and they probably didn't need have a clue. You mean it might be someone listening from Carlisle at once? Oh, to it, honestly, Kendall, God, or, it doesn't matter, know, yeah. Right? Yeah, just get in touch and, 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 and like I say, even if you're not from round here, I do forget sometimes anybody can watch this from anywhere, but it's uh, I'll get in touch with your local council because. Yeah. I get a bit. I, I've, I've been in trouble before about this because I forget who's sort of sponsored me at times. And yeah, this, like, yeah. the other, but yeah, there was like Penrith Town Council, there was County Council, and there's another one. Oh, I do forget. This is why I should never. Have, but <laughs> what I'm saying is, if people say in Kendall or whatever, go and see your council, council and they'll yeah. probably give you a stick in a hoop yeah. and away you go. Yeah. yeah. Um, just, I think any anywhere yeah. will be quite willing to help. Yeah. Uh, can't say for sure, but I'm damn sure they'll be yeah, quite happy I can't to. Say why not? Yeah, so I would I would ask the question. If you don't yeah. ask, you'll never know. Exactly. But uh, no, you I would a definitely bit of do it. Civic pride and a bit of oh yeah, no, if you, you know, if local community. You have to be where you're yeah. from when you're trying to promote your town and exactly. make it look nice. And, yeah. Well, it's not just nice for tourists; it's nice for us, isn't it? Exactly. Exactly. Who wants to live in a shit hole? No, not me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tony, thank Good you man. very much, bud. You've been a pleasure. Welcome. I've enjoyed um, it. Thank you. Thank you for all your little picking duties. Well. <laughs> oh, I yeah, appreciate it. it. Thank you. So that's no it for another episode of Spud Life this week. Who have I got in the caravan next week? Well, you'll have to tune in and find out. And if you did like this episode, please give me a like and a subscribe. I said I wasn't going to do that, but I don't know. Maybe I'll have to. If you didn't like it, then if you did, do. Thanks, guys. See you next week. Okay, bye.